Welcome to your lecture on digital data retrieval and harvesting techniques. Uh, this lecture is a part of your paper on communication research. So, this understanding of the digital data retrieval techniques from the mass of information overload empowers a researcher to stay focused and objective. So, the idea is uh, to have targeted and focused search results in contrast to the information overload posed by the internet. So you will learn the concept of data reduction that is uh, minimizing the information overload and effortlessly sifting through the information maze on the internet thus arriving at your required information in Google. So uh, we would primarily use uh, Google here for uh, information retrieval from the different websites. And uh, we will also uh, discuss the data extraction and harvesting tools available for various websites and news sources. However, uh, let's discuss what is data first. Data as you know that it is regarded as the fundamental unit and scientifically recorded factual piece of information uh, which can be appropriated for further analysis. Uh, so, it is a very sacrosanct element of the research and today we will learn how to harvest the digital content available online on uh, newspaper websites, social media platform, uh, discussion forms, uh, government documents, reports etc. Uh, and all these constitute a big data which can be harvested by using relevant tools. And uh, tools are mainly free, they, we haven't discussed any paid tools. So according to Leo and McKinney, the research methods are defined as specific methods and techniques employed to collect and analyze data in a research study. So going by this definition, uh, any software uh, which is used for uh, retrieval or analyzing tools, uh, any data formats, techniques or commands, uh, freewares, open databases, uh, data format converters, websites, apps, scripts, browser extension etc. They form the ecosystem of the digital media research methods or DM RMS. So uh, Google power searching commands and data retrieval techniques they are uh, the research methods uh, as per this definition. and. Uh, these are these harvesting techniques are amenable to research. On the explanatory side, we know that the internet is a vast and continuously growing repository of information, uh, which can be a gold mine as well as unnecessary information overload. So it is both ways. Uh, if we don't know the power searching, uh, it is an information overload and vice versa. So every 2.5 quintillion bytes of data is created by us in different forms. And data is the most basic and sacrosanct component of any research study as we already know. We have discussed this. So data retrieval is defined as obtaining the data from the websites by using various commands and techniques. And uh, the data harvesting is defined as scraping or downloading the data in our desktop for actual analysis. So these are two different things, uh, data retrieval and data harvesting, they are two different things. And many softwares and tools are available which scrape data uh, that is download data as per your keywords from the entire web or the websites desired by you. So you are the chooser of your own data. As you know that most of them are paid softwares but free one may not serve your purpose fully. But many free tools are also available. So web data retrieval techniques such as Google power searching command. Uh, we will call it uh, GPS uh, henceforth. Uh, these are the techniques uh, it's applicable across the web content. So Google power searching uh, commands gives you complete command over every single word floating in the cyberspace uh, except deep space. So GPS has reduced the data collection time to just a few minutes and the results to a few hundreds only. So Google power searching commands uh, in the short form GPS they are very helpful. The existence of power searching commands like uh, many news websites have options of advanced search uh, embedded in their own websites and you don't have to do anything and just go and search uh, wherein they provide customized search for the news as per the time frame, keyword 
वर्ड कॉम्बिनेशन विद की वर्ड्स एग्जैक्ट सर्च ऑफ द वर्ड्स इन ए सिक्वेंस डिलीशन ऑफ नॉन डिजायर्ड वर्ड्स एंड एडिशन ऑफ द डिजायर्ड वर्ड्स एडिशन ऑफ न्यू सोर्सेज लोकेशन ऑफ द न्यूज एटसेट्रा दस गिविंग यू ए कंप्लीट कंट्रोल ओवर द कंटेंट बट नॉट मैनी वेबसाइट्स हैव दिस रादर वेरी फ्यू वेबसाइट्स हैव दिस ऑन देयर होम पेज सो लेट डिस्कस सम यूजफुल गूगल पावर सर्चिंग कमांड सेयर विच कैन बी अप्लाइड ऑन एवरी वेबसाइट एंड अक्रॉस द वेब so basic search to start with entering a few words in the google like for example you enter the word technology uh, power empowerment internet police and uh, court judge uh, this would bring the results documents uh, from around the world which have these words anywhere in the text as shown in the image uh, they the documents will simply appear and the words will be having inside the document so this is not a random search so if you want to search the exact sequence of the words then the search uh, like the search double quotes media censorship in india uh, it has to be in the double quotes it would bring those results which have exact sequence of words of the query and if you don't put the double quotes then every single word would be searched differently and the results increase unnecessarily so the double quotes uh reduce the result and if they are put on the single word like empower then uh it would bring the results uh, i mean the documents which has the word empower in the pure form and not as empowerment or empowering or the empowered etc so it maintains the purity of the word uh in the next command if you want to search within a website uh for example uh hindustantimes.com uh space technology and rural and scheme now this is the power searching command and if you enter this command in the google it will bring news items within the website of hindustan times uh which are having the words uh, technology rural and scheme anywhere in the running text of the news items also the selected words like rural and technology are highlighted in the text as you can see in the image uh, the words are highlighted so as to give you the slight context of the news and when you search a particular file type for example file type colon pdf technology and media and internet and rural and skill or talent now this command would bring only the pdf documents having the words a uh, talent rural or all the words which were entered so this file type can be changed to include more uh, file types like docx uh, powerpoint uh, text excel etc as per the choice of the file type now filtering documents having certain words if you don't want certain words so uh, again enter the search term and put the minus like as shown in the uh, link money minus rural this would show news from hindustan times website with the women and technology words but the words like money and rural words would be removed from the text i mean the results having those words will not be shown here so that is the data reduction technique and now search as per the title of the documents for example uh, if you see the link then in title crime and women uh, if you enter this command then news would be uh, brought from the tribune newspaper which have crime and women words in the news titles only not in the text hence we have uh, very few results which are highly focused uh, you can uh, see the command and directly enter into the google and find yourself so searching as per the title and the text simultaneously now as you can see that in title colon crime in text dot cyber or internet so news from the tribune would appear which would have crime word in their titles and either cyber or internet words in the running text of the news i mean not in the title so hence a researcher can have the complete command uh, over the text so query in title and the text 
uh, with the commands can be entered and the desired output can be uh, have. So searching documents as per the URL that is website's address. So you type in URL colon MOOC and course minus. Now this command will bring all those hyperlinks that is URLs in which the words MOOC and course appear as shown in the first results in the MOOC. So you don't have to put minus I uh, spoke wrongly uh, but you can search the website uh, the Google as search. So searching documents as per the domain now. Uh, you note this command site colon dot gov women and empowerment. So by entering this in Google the documents having the words women and empowerment within the domain of dot gov would be retrieved and all other domains like dot in extra they will be filtered out. So you can uh, include the dot in dot edu dot pk uh, country specific domain names and by combining individual commands for example site colon dot gov women and empowerment or skills crime minus police file type pdf we can get much better and enriched results in the google you type these commands and see uh, yourself uh, now searching documents as per the time of the upload so we can apply the time filter by clicking the tools on the right side the data can be retrieved between a few certain dates as shown in the figure. This command would be activated by clicking the tool button as shown in the figure on the right side and you can uh, select the time period yourself. So every document has its timestamp so uh, it will be done. So searching documents uh, with two words in vicinity if you type this command like women around bracket 5 in technology this search result uh, in the it would bring results in the form of PowerPoint presentations uh, in which technology word appears within a proximity of five words left and five words right of the word woman. More commands can be included in text, in titles, etc. So uh, we are having command over the words in the vicinity also and uh, searching similar websites we can apply this command it's a related command related colon census.gov and uh, by applying this command other similar sites relating uh, to the one entered uh, would appear uh, like census of government of India, census of US, Sri Lanka etc. So this can be very useful finding the similar stuff like databases, research publications etc. when you don't have information about more than one website. So it broadens the perspective of the researcher. We would discuss the Google power searching commands in a snapshot. Uh, the command characters they are limited to 2000 currently so you cannot enter more than 2000 bytes of the characters in the Google. So these GPS commands written here are simple and not complex whereas the research data need complex command designing for effective data retrieval as per our own research objectives. So the individual commands described above can be freely used in combination without any sequence you can use them. Hence a typical complex search command may look like this one file type colon pdf in url colon double quote corpus analyst corpus linguistics double quotes in text colon computer and internet and statistics or valid. So this is a very complex command and it will give very good results. Still more complex query can be designed as minus site colon dot in in title technology in text colon crime and women minus in URL colon cyber and minus BBC and minus journal and minus internet and minus police and minus court and minus blog and minus science and minus news and minus student. So this is really fabulous command. Now we would search Google through the country specific search by selecting the country from the tools as shown in the figure. We can get the search results specific to that country. So the picture shows, shows the results from India. You can select any of the country you like and uh, get the web pages from those countries and download and research. And now searching the results in Hindi or other known English language. So if uh, we use the command uh, 
लाइक द वर्ड महिला इन हिंदी एंड प्रौद्योगिकी इन हिंदी एंड इंटरनेट इन हिंदी एंड कौशल इन हिंदी फाइल टाइप कॉल एंड पी डी एफ एज शोन इन द फिगर देन ऑल द रिजल्ट वुड बी इन हिंदी एंड पी डी एफ डॉक्यूमेंट वुड बी देयर सो द गूगल सर्च नीड्स नॉन इंग्लिश वर्ड्स लाइक हिंदी पंजाबी एटसेट्रा इन द यूनिकॉड फॉर्म नॉट टेक्स फॉर्म इफ यू गो टू द ट्रांसलेट डॉट गूगल डॉट कॉम देन वी कैन गेट द आउटपुट इन द यूनिकोड फॉर द डिजायर्ड वर्ड्स एंड इट इज ट्रांसलेटेड यू कैन सी द इमेज सो न्यूज डॉट गूगल डॉट कॉम इज ए वेरी गुड सोर्स फॉर ऑल द ऑनलाइन न्यूज फ्रॉम ऑल वेबसाइट्स एंड सोर्सेज एंड दिस साइल्ट हैज इन बिल्ट सर्च विंडो फॉर द इजी डेटा रिट्रेवल एज शॉन इन द फिगर सो यू डोंट हैव टू रियली डू एनीथिंग जस्ट एक्टिवेट दिस फंक्शन एंड एंटर यूअर डिजायर्ड वर्ड्स इन दैट सो इट विल ब्रिंग आउट द रिजल्ट फॉर यू सो देर आर ए फ्यू क्रोम एक्सटेंशन ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लिंक क्लम्प यू कैन सर्च गूगल इट विल कम अप विच आफ्टर अप्लाइंग द गूगल पावर सर्चिंग कमांड्स दैट इज जी पी एस कैन कलेक्ट द हेडलाइंस ऑफ द लिंक्स एंड देयर यू आर एल्स द हेडलाइंस कैन बी सर्च फॉर रिसर्च फॉर द कंटेंट एनालिसिस यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर दे आर अवेलेबल एंड download all pdf doc excel file at once i am going to discuss a very good tool which is very free and uh, outwit doc is the name by entering the search url of the image dot google dot com it will bring out a few of the things may be taken care of while using the gps now the commands can be combined irrespective of the sequence and length however the increased complexity may lose the sight of the research objective so we have to be very very careful while designing the commands uh, the commands cannot be self designed by you as these are boolean operators and the google servers recognize uh, them as such for example and a and e would be in the caps capital letters not uh, in the small letters if you use the small letter then it will be counted as the word not as a command right and uh, space and continuity in the commands should be taken care of meticulously as the results may change drastically if the command is not entered properly then the whole purpose of the exercise would be defeated uh, and search can be done in regional languages also as i just told you we have to enter the word in the unicode format of that language and uh, results will come so one google search releases 7 gram of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere hence it is advisable to use the google search with discretion as we are the environmentally friendly people and we save our own internal energy also by the right side right kind of commands so same set of commands would work on all google products like scholar.google.com youtube google news and uh, google books uh, the whose app link is books.google.com and all google products across the board double quote commands and and or commands are universal commands like control v and control c so these commands work well in other search engines also uh, so you can apply them anywhere also but not other commands which are specific to google so the increased complexity in the commands beyond a limit is likely to produce wrong results as we may not be able to comprehend the full design of the command so it is advisable to test a few results after running the command in order to ensure the correct results and uh, the results are not correct then we can try changing the command so if you are unsure then go to the advanced search in the settings portion on the right side of the search engine and search from there but it doesn't support all form of power searching commands and uh, this is an emergency provision but it sometimes it can be very helpful for you and uh, some more useful websites uh, i am discussing these are tools.distillmethods.netwiz uh, this is the complete link you can copy and paste and uh, it will give you the information how to harvest the video details of youtube and convert them into the excel format by selecting the desired variables uh, like title video description comment text uh, date likes replies duration view count of the video top rated comments etc we are talking about the youtube here and apart from collecting comments and uh, usual video parameters 
This freeware downloads the GDF file which maps the interaction between different users in the comment section of the YouTube video. So this is a social network analysis. Uh, this is altogether a different kind of uh, research. Uh, so this makes it a very nice tool for the video uh, social network analysis. Uh, so the Google spreadsheets also are very important tool for scrapping the web data from websites and social media. There are beautiful videos available on YouTube. How to do that? You can uh, yourself watch. However, it is slightly technical process and there are very useful videos available and uh, you have to understand the working of Google spreadsheet for harvesting the data uh, from the websites and many other functionalities are also available on the Google spreadsheet like there are many extensions for the text analysis. So it should be kept in mind that all major data harvesting tools are largely paid but proper planning if we do then freewares too can serve the purpose very well. Additionally, there are very good ready-made collections of data on every topic collected and hosted by the researchers for no commercial and research purpose. So you can download the data itself which is nicely clean and properly formatted. With Google power searching commands, the same can be accessed and downloaded within no time and if you apply the paid software then you will have the dual benefit of it. As regards the data harvesting from social media like WhatsApp, Facebook and Twitter, uh, a separate concept of API that is application programming interface uh, with the access token, secret, consumer key and uh, it will be discussed in another module and uh, it's a very useful tool. Uh, we can consider applying it. And finally the conclusion, I hope that the end of this lecture. Uh, uh, you have learned the broad concept of data retrieval and harvesting from various sources and its applications and we are all well versed with the importance of Google uh, power searching commands and its benefits uh, for the researchers. I hope that uh, this lecture has been helpful to address various issues related to the data retrieval and harvesting uh, from uh, the websites and uh, this lecture poses new challenges to you for uh, designing your own Google power searching uh, commands for better telling Google or the search engine about uh, your query and you are now well versed with the development of art of navigation in the information overload. For more details, uh, you can read the module on uh, uh, this lecture carefully and attempt the questions uh, in the end. Thank you.